In Autodesk Design and Manufacturing Collections, um, design product design and manufacturing collections, we get the uh, factory utilities. So the factory utilities is a module that allows you to create 2D um, designs for a factory with what we call assets. So things like your overhead robotic systems, robots, uh, product pallet feed, um, robo um, robot controllers, uh, conveyors, and so on and so forth. So there are two different types of assets that you've got. So you've either got your 2D, which is um, basically put into either AutoCAD architecture or AutoCAD uh, mechanical. Um, so when you do install the, the Autodesk factory design utilities, you'll see that if you don't have architecture or mechanical installed, it actually won't install for you. You do have to have those two products, uh, which are also available in the collections. So, <coughs> so what I'm gonna show you today it's just how you go between your, your 2D AutoCAD layout, get out your 3D assets, then put your 3D assets in into Inventor, and then get your 2D assets in AutoCAD as well. So to get your assets or to create your assets, we've got our assets browser on, on the right hand side of here. And you can see there's six different folders, you know, your search results, if you're searching for something, favorites, uh, user cloud assets, user assets, which you've created. So you know, if you've got a block that you uh, that you've created previously before you um, got your Autodesk des um, factory design utilities, uh, you can go and set up your user assets there, both 2D and 3D um, system assets, as well as your library assets as well. If you cannot see this asset browser, you just go up to your factory tab, go to palettes, and click on asset browser over here. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to go place a couple of components in. And uh, as you can see there, I've got all my assets over here. So let's go put in a compression molding machine. Um, so what I'll do is just drag and drop. So it works very much like your tool palettes. Um, there you can see, I'm just gonna zoom in a bit, put it down and make sure it's in the right direction. Let's see. So just go put on F8 to help us here. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to delete this. Um, I could go and drag and drop another um, asset in, but I'm rather going to go use the normal AutoCAD uh, copy command. So copy, uh, select my base point, doesn't really matter where it is. I'm going to use my sub array command as well. So with that, it works a little bit like uh, uh, your your array command, your rectangular array, except it just goes in one straight line. So I'm going to say the number of uh, items I need is four. Um, and then you're going to go see how far you space it over there. So select it, takes down four, um, puts down four copies, and there we go. Now we need someone to man these machines. So I'm going to just drag my little man into over here. Drop him down, face him towards the machine, um, as well as another one over here. So I've got my workforce all happy. Okay, um, now what we can do is just go put in a, um, what else do we have over here? Um, injection molding machine. So let's drag one over here and place it on the side. And as well go put in our operator. Okay. Then we can also put in a, a, a roller conveyor. And uh, with this roller conveyor, it sort of makes a chain. So you just say exactly where you want it. And uh, there we go. So I've just created a simple 2D layout um, just by dragging and dropping blocks in. Now let's see the power of factory design utilities at work. Um, I'm now going to cre create 3D assets out of this in Inventor. So what do we do? Go to our sync workflows and then let's go and sync Inventor. So here you can actually see how it gets populated in real time from the uh, from AutoCAD architecture 
into uh, Inventor over here. Now it works the other way as well. So I can place in a 3D asset, which is over here, um, and then it will go reflect back in AutoCAD. So if you don't have the, the assets available to you, Asset Browser, you can go to your Palettes, Asset Browser over here. Um, and let's go put in a, um, let's do a horizontal curve over here. So I'm just gonna go grab this and let's, let's put it in over here. Okay, so we can see that now that asset is going to be um, put into uh, AutoCAD architecture as well. And you can see that I've also been able to snap as well. So I was able to snap the conveyor onto my um, curved uh, conveyor over there. So we just move over there. Okay, there we go. Snap it down. And there we go. So it snaps it into place. Okay, so making it very, very easy. Uh, to be able to go and place and just position as well um, the the assets uh, that we have and you can also do this in your 2d AutoCAD as well you do have your connectors um, if you want to know what the snap with the snap types over here you can see there's snap to connector which is what it's connecting to over there um, you in your factory properties you also have uh, you know these properties over here you can go change your layer okay so maybe you want to change it to that massa nilenta uh, layer uh, because maybe you want all your factory assets to be in, on a particular layer um, or your conveyors to be on a particular layer. So you'll create that um, and then and then put that and then just assign that to that. So it uh, shows correctly in AutoCAD. Over here, you know, you can change um, different uh, uh, parameters um, of your conveyor. You know, your feet gaps, your height, your legs, length. If you want a motor location, you, know, you can take that motor away. Number of rungs. So, you know, you've got two over there. You can maybe make four. Okay, so you can change all of that as well. Um, and it reflects in the properties uh, you know, of your, your 2D. You won't see that in 2D because it's just a 2D uh, view. Okay, so now let's go see what it looks like in AutoCAD. So sync AutoCAD. And uh, let's go make sure that that is properly synced in AutoCAD. Okay, let's open it up in AutoCAD. And we should see now that the 2D layout has been updated with the 3D asset that we've just brought in. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so um, great. Yeah, so, so that's just a little demonstration on how we're able to, to get started with the, the factory utilities. Um, you know, a lot of guys do this in AutoCAD and it's very manual, you know, copying, moving making sure that it's uh, snapping from the right points. So with this, you're able to do your 2D layout and then, you know, for a visual point of view from your client side, uh, you're able to then go and see um, the 3D visualization um, and, and, and give your customer a better experience. Thank you very much for watching.